In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to link elements in Framer to create a seamless navigation experience on your website. Whether you're working on a new project or refining an existing one, understanding how to link different sections effectively can enhance the overall user experience. So, let's dive right in and get started. First things first, we'll need to have Framer open on your computer. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and launch the program. Once you've opened Framer, you should see your list of projects. Choose the project you want to work on, and let's get into the details. Now that your project is open, the next step involves selecting the element you'd like to link. This could be a button, an icon, or any interactive component within your project. Look over your design and click on the specific element you're interested in linking. This will be the starting point for the navigation path we're about to create. After selecting the element, as ye ad cellsibermit, focus your attention on the left side of your framer interface. Here, you'll want to scroll down through the sections until you reach the portion labeled Scroll. In this section, we're going to name the destination we'll be linking to. For our example today, let's name it C. Ads Services. This label will help us remember what the section represents and ensure that everything is organized as we proceed with linking. Once you've named the section, it's time to shift gears slightly. We need to identify where the link will start. So, scroll back up to your design, where you'll find the element that users will click to jump to another part of your page. Once there, and again, focusing on the element you've highlighted, turn your attention to the right panel of your framer interface. This panel is home to a myriad of settings and options that help dictate how your selected element interacts within your project. In the right panel, locate the option labeled Link. This is what will allow us to connect your initial element to other parts of your project. Click on it to open up the link settings. Within these settings, you'll want to choose Link to Home. This option helps you set a clear link destination. Finally, a drop down or list should appear, showcasing all the sections you've created within the project. Remember the Services section we labeled earlier? That's what we'll select here. Choosing services as your destination ensures that once someone clicks your linked element, they'll be smoothly directed to the appropriate section of your site, and that's all there is to it. You've successfully linked an element within Framer, enhancing the navigation and creating an intuitive experience for your users. Thanks for watching, and feel free to check out our other videos for more great tips on optimizing your design projects.